myself. Our wardrobe department just came out and picked yeah. this up. Was this showing during the morning? No, no, no. It was all right. We even back didn't notice it. Look great to me, John. But you can do away with a line if the if merchandise is inferior. What do you mean? <laughs> My next guest is truly what? First guest. What did I say? Next guest. And you corrected me in front of millions of people, didn't you? <laughs> oh, um, de, de Cordova dump. <laughs> Christmas bonus. <laughs> Getting close to the holidays. My first guest is truly amazing. He not only is starting his third year of his own smash uh, show on cable TV, he is probably, and I can say this, I think, without, what's the word I want? Reservation. Without reservation. <laughs> the greatest daredevil superstar entertainer of our day, and it's a pleasure to know him. Would you welcome Super Dave Osborne. <laughs> What, 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 what? Very nice. That's a uh, Super Dave wallet for both of you. Thank you. You're That's the only. Nice. You're the only guest I ever have who brings a gift. Yeah. Uh, well, Jimmy, I hope you enjoy it. No, no, because, Johnny. Uh, Johnny. <laughs> That's uh, This may be the last time. Uh, as I was coming out here, one of your stage hands uh, said, "There goes Mr. Kissum up." Uh, trying to give the star a gift. Well, it's... So maybe this will be a guest, uh, best of Carson. And uh, well, uh... I just wish people would take a person at face value and not think that everyone has an ulterior motive to well, try to get somewhere. You're probably right. Is this? Look at this. this. Very it says, uh, money in it. <laughs> you got the wrong one. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. It's, it's really good to see you again. Uh, now, let's, let's talk about this. Um, you have a training program going on. Aren't you representing, um, is it Evander Holyfield? Evander Holyfield, yes. The, uh, the boxer? He's come to my compound and uh, he's Oh, you have a boxing with, compound? Well, it's an area on the compound. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, he's working. Uh, he asked if I would help him prepare for Mike Tyson. Uh, Mike. He's the number one challenger. He's a sensational guy. And I'm putting him through a special computer program where, uh, say, he's working on the light bag. Yeah. When he hits the light bag, I will punch a computer and a name will come up and it will explain to him how he compares with the greats. Do you follow uh, me? In other words, I'm his not speed sure I and dexterity, I punch it up, it says he's like Muhammad Ali or something like that. So it's a it's a great program and he's enjoying it. And uh, Fuji Hakihito, my assistant, came up with it, and I'm I'm very happy about it. Yeah. Well, I understand we have some we managed to get the tape from your staff that shows this. I don't new, want to uh, show any tapes tonight, okay? Let's just talk well, about the program because there was a mishap. Well, I think and I, we're redoing it and uh, Dave, look, Dave, wait a second. Um you know, when you come here and you talk about representing a, a boxer of the of the stature of Holyfield getting ready for Tyson, and you say you have a tape com computerized, that's something kind of new, and I think uh, you kind of owe it to the uh, audience to show. I don't think they want to see it. Well, no, no, no. I uh, respectfully disagree and think we ought to look at the tape. So, uh, Bob, you want to roll this uh, roll this tape? We'll get a look at how this is going. We're progressing. Although you're having a good time, I want you to get the anger back. This is Tyson. This is the big one. Think of some reason to get angry at him, okay? I can make him angry. <laughs> Concentrate. Work on it. Left, right, left, right. Great, 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 great. Keep it going. All right, all right. Back off, back off. That's enough. Look at this. Jack, get look at this. Oh, oh. You're going, you're going. Keep it going. Keep the energy up. All right, this is a special computer. It's a life size. It's a punch o -matic. The only thing I want here is one right hand. Go down, deliver a right. Go ahead. You got one shot and go for it. Down and go for it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Look at this Rocky Marcy. Rocky Marcy. Oh, oh, hey. oh, yeah. Let's keep it up. Keep the energy up. Now you're going. This is rock a punch, all right? You're going to bob, you're going to weep. One punch is going to be thrown. Oh. How many times do I have to apologize to this man? We come in here and my band is gone. Then you show us a tape of an eight-year-old Mike Tyson. 
Then you take off your hat, and you have that stupid Don King wig on. And now, I don't know how much this costs. You've put two right gloves. Look at this. Don't worry. It won't work. It's not it going to work. It won't work. I can see why, uh... You may have been right, maybe we shouldn't have run the final few seconds, but you, you realize, of course, I'm sure that in any new type of device like that, there are a few kinks to well, work out. Well, uh, minor problems, but we're working it out. Yeah. Well, I wish you luck with that bout coming up. Now, just, let's go to a different subject. Somebody told me you're a little upset about you went to a, a holiday gift convention. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, when you think of uh, selling things, uh, you know, I, I like to get my products out there because I want kids to have them. Sure. And I went to a product convention. I like humor. And I like jokes. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are a lot of jokes about a, a certain uh, group of celebrities that have surfaced this year. In a monologue, it's great. I like to laugh because it goes out into the air and then it evaporates. But when you've got some guy... <laughs> when you've got some guy manufacturing a toy mm -hmm. or a game with no sense of humor, putting it into a toy store where kids can see it, it's very insulting. And so I've got some products here that I would hope if the public sees it, they don't laugh. And then maybe they won't even carry them in the stores. Can we give us an uh, yes, illustration uh, of what we're talking about? This has to do with our distinguished vice president. And uh, uh, I can't say any more than that. Tim the, the trail right. on the donkey. Now you see, right, a, right away you got the reaction you didn't want there, right? Absolutely. They, uh, they, they laughed at that and showed disrespect. Now what do you think this is? Well, that looks like a little school bus. Yeah, it's not a school bus. Oh, I'm sorry. They're selling it as a Steve Garvey baby stroller. <laughs> Once again, you certainly have a point there. And uh, this is really the worst. Uh, they've defamed the story of Cinderella. It's a classic. Uh, it's a classic. Yes, using uh, an actress, and uh, it's called Jajarella. <laughs> And what it does is it tells the story of Zsa Zsa's trouble with the law as if she were Cinderella. And she tells the policeman uh, when he pulls her over, if you don't let me go, my Rolls Royce will turn into a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to read you this because I can't believe it. Yes. Uh, profanity is exchanged. And the officer says, Zsa Zsa if you continue to talk like that, I'll have to ask you to step out of your pumpkin and put your chins on the hood. <laughs> Disrespectful, to say the least. And then, yes. uh, she slaps him and starts to leave. Uh -huh. And he said, I'll tell you something, if you leave and run away, you're going to wind up in prison. And they've got some tough women in prison. And you could wind up with a cellmate that looks like this. Yes, well, thank you. Well, you have... Well, I... I can see why you're upset, and it just goes to show you that people will laugh at these these bad taste things. Well, and should nothing not, I can do. I've got to do what I want. Probably should not patronize those things. Absolutely. Certainly I for hope Christmas. you don't buy those if you see them. Now, one one last thing I wanted to ask you. What is it about the sing-along society of what, oh, North, yes. North America? Absolutely. Is, is, yeah. Am I right on that? Yes. I'm working with the sing-along society of North America, uh, and I was about to go on a five-day, 5,000-mile uh, five sing-along tour because I believe, and they believe, that if you sing along in your automobile, mm -hmm. it will end highway profanity. Uh, you can't... Oh, I see. You can't... Kind of a brotherhood type Absolutely. Of... Mm -hmm. You can't sing a swear word. I see. So uh, what we did is, uh, Fuji, uh, my assistant... The again, same gentleman that... Uh... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, he fixed up a very special bus. Everything inside was uh, state-of-the-art. And then on top of the bus, he had a uh, patio furniture and chaise lounge lounges and a barbecue and my upright piano and an exercise bike and I was going to go for five days on top of the bus singing along but uh, again we didn't iron it out properly so I was going to show the tape but I will do it again and bring it back when it's right uh, and I would love to show I, I, it. Uh, I think we ought to take a look at it now. Even no. though I think people will excuse little imperfections. We understand you haven't done the final product, but at least give us some idea. Bobby, would you roll this, uh, roll this tape? Great. Why'd you follow me to the county line? 
Okay. You'll get to see what it's like to sing along. Sure. Okay, food, start the bus. I put on my favorite song. You know what? He even has the lyrics here for me. He doesn't forget anything. Have a great week. See you next week. Trailers for sale. <laughs> Rooms to let 50 cents. No phone, no food, no pets. I ain't got no cigarettes. Two hours of pushing broom buys a pay for twelve four bedroom. I'm a man, man of means by only <laughs> gate of the road. Third box car, midnight train. Remember, if you're going on a vacation, put a couch on your car. Give this a try. It's sensational fun. I don't play no yin yin dreams. I smoke old stogies. I have found short but not too big. Man of means by no means. King of the road. Uh, once again, Super David, those minor little details that sometimes <laughs> just take a good thing and uh, it's a subtle adjustment. Yes, I, I think it. when you get that uh, that worked out, that'll be. Uh, I Absolutely. wish you much luck with that. Well, Super David, it's great to have you here again. You know, I, it's a pleasure, and I would love to come back again. I, I hope you will. Show. Thank you, Super. Super David. Yeah. We'll be back in a moment with Richard Pryor.